It's unclear to me, Mr. Smith, what you want. Do you want the money back and to give them the car back? Because in your complaint, I mean, you seem to just say, give me the money to fix the car, but you're asking for more money than you even paid for the car. I mean, if they can fix it, I'll be, I'll be glad to keep it. If y'all want to spend but, money. But wait, wait, you haven't yet paid to get it fixed, correct? No. So the car is sitting in your driveway. It's a Prius. And what you said in your complaint was that you subsequently discovered after the sale that the battery needs to be replaced. It's a hybrid car. The catalytic converter needs to be replaced, that the codes on the car had been white. Do you have a report from a mechanic that verifies that the codes on the car were wiped? Uh, I did not get because that. Because that would give rise to at least a reasonable inference on my part yeah. that they knew that the car was janky. One of your text messages that the defendants submitted, and these are your words, they're not mine. Yeah, you know what I'm talking I was about. a little heated. Hold you on. Yeah, you want to read it? I read it, yeah. Yeah, you read it. This is around the time where I was like figuring out the problem, and I was trying to like honestly get my money back because I'm like, I don't want to deal with this situation, but I'm like, whatever. I'm going to fix the dumb car, but uh, you guys suck because I said what sucks worse is that it's my fault for buying the car like a I'm, I, like, okay, just stop yeah, right I'm a, there. I'm, yeah, I'm not calling you that. But they disclosed that the car needed a smog check when you bought it. Yes. You had to know that something was wrong with the car. No. You had to because there was a fake registration a fake on the car. sticker on it. When did you know that the sticker was fake? When we got home and the cop was towing it. So that tells me that you were on notice that there was some problem with the registrability of this car. Well, I but got it registered. Fact, listen, I got it registered. You did get it registered. Yes, I so, fixed it. So basically, I paid for the registration for him. The only thing I didn't go do was the smog. He says that he took the car to a mechanic who said the codes were white. And that's if that is true. true, how do you know it's true? I know, it's, you know not it's not true, true because I use an OBD scanner when I go buy cars. And if you erase a code from there, the OBD scanner will still pop up the, the code. A mechanic may have told him that, but you can't speak to what a mechanic told him. What I am trying to figure out is what you did with this car when you bought it and how much of its condition you were aware of. When you bought the car from the auction, did you ever drive it? Yes, I did. You, you, how often did you drive it? Those two weeks I drove it, I didn't know that it had a, 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 the sticker, but I, I knew the original. Uh, did I, you I, have any problems with the car mechanically no, 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 or no, operationally? No, no. Did you ever take the car to the shop to be serviced, no. to get an oil change? No. You bought it from auction. You did nothing to it. You saw there was a fake sticker. You paid for the registration. Then you sold it to him. Nothing else. The oil and all that is checked when we buy it. Yeah. Here's what's important to me. Did you defraud him when you were selling the car? Did you wipe the codes? No. Were you aware of the fact that the car was undrivable when you took his money? No. This is what I'm trying to hone in on. I'm not there yet. Judge Domingo? I'm not sure where I am, but I can tell you this. There's something fishy about this. Yeah.